How many people endlessly scour airfare comparison and hotel booking sites looking for the best deal, pinching every penny, but then waste all that effort by paying huge fees when paying for their travel? Once you leave the country, deciding how you pay, either cash, credit card, or even traveler's check, can affect the cost of your trip. What is the best option for you? Keep watching and we will answer all your currency conversion options when you're traveling to Europe. But first, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. What is the best way to exchange money? It's a simple and good question with a multitude of answers. Let's look at all the options. Exchanging cash. Avoid or at least minimize cash exchange. On average, at a bank, you lose about 8% when you change dollars into a foreign currency. When you use an airport currency exchange booth, the hit can be as much as 15%. If you do need to exchange money, look for places that don't charge a commission. Note the difference between the rates for buying, the bank buys foreign currency from you to exchange into local cash, and selling, the bank sells foreign currency to you. The difference between the buy and sell rates should be less than 10%. Hold on to your cash for emergencies. The ATM ate my card. Now, some of you will not sleep unless you have some local currency in your wallet before leaving home. If you haven't packed your bags, you may have time to shop around for the best rates. Many banks offer currency exchange to their customers. You may be able to order currency at a branch location or by phone or online for pickup at a branch. Sometimes the service carries a fee and sometimes this fee can be waived, if you ask. You can also order cash through a currency converter. A number of websites sell foreign currency and deliver it to your home. Exchange rates here are less favorable and the delivery charges will further eat into your funds. Airport kiosks or stores? Convenient? Yes. A good deal? Hardly ever. These places should be a last resort for emergencies. Exchange rates are poor and fees are numerous and high. Cash is best for emergencies. On the pro side, it's cash, and someone will exchange it. The con, you typically will not get a great conversion rate from your money. Debit and ATM cards. Debit card. Use this at cash machines, ATMs, to withdraw local cash, which you'll use to pay for most purchases. Use bank ATM machines. In addition to having a good or better rate than the actual bank teller, the advantage to getting cash this way is that you can do it repeatedly. You can take out $300 worth and a couple days later do it again. However, in recent years, as more and more savvy travelers have realized ATMs are the best way to go, some places, especially European airports and tourist zones, have taken advantage by charging different and much worse exchange rates at machines aimed at international travelers. The bank ATMs at gateway airports in Europe are being replaced by foreign exchange machines. They promise, quote unquote, free withdrawal, but charge a really bad exchange rate of 10 to 11%. For this reason, if you can wait until you get into town, I suggest using an ATM at an actual bank. Some European airports still have real bank ATMs elsewhere in the terminal, just outside the arrival hall usually, if you want to hunt them down. Debit and ATM cards are best for getting cash in local currency. The pros? You will get the same great inner bank exchange rate when you make cash withdrawals with your debit or ATM card as you do when you make a credit card purchase. With ATMs available in major cities and airports all over Europe, this is generally the cheapest and most convenient way to get cash in a local currency. Each cash withdrawal you make will usually be subject to a currency conversion fee, foreign ATM fee, or other charges from your bank and or the local bank that maintains the ATM. At the very least, you'll probably be charged the same transaction fee, if any, that your bank charges when you use another bank's ATM. However, many banks charge higher fees for international ATM withdrawals, either a flat, typical $1 to $6, or a set percentage of your total withdrawal usually 1-3%. to Check with your bank before each trip abroad, as these fees can change often and without warning. To add insult to injury, you may also be charged a fee by the owner of the foreign ATM. Because these small charges can add up quickly, 
you will probably want to withdraw larger amounts than you might normally do at home. So be sure to have a safe, well-concealed place to keep your cash. I suggest a money belt. If you are renting a car, you should be aware that debit cards are not always accepted and may sometimes be subject to additional red tape. Finally, do not forget to call your bank and make it aware of your travel plans. As with credit cards, sudden international activity using your debit card could cause your account to be frozen. Pro tip, avoid dynamic currency conversion. This is when a merchant will ask you if you would like your purchase done in your home currency versus the local currency. Always, always, always get your transaction in the local currency or you will be hit with a huge fee. Credit cards. Credit cards are the best for large purchases such as airline tickets, hotel bills, and car rentals. Generally, paying by credit card gives you a better rate than paying by debit card or cash. But this advice doesn't apply if you're not able to clear the balance each month. The interest you pay on the balance will only add to your costs. Figure out whether your destination is plastic friendly. If it is, you can avoid many of these extra travel fees with a no foreign transaction fee credit card or debit card. Consider applying for one of these credit cards or debit cards before you leave so that you can use it instead of cash whenever possible. Avoid using the credit card at ATMs or you'll be hit with fees and interest right away for taking a cash advance. Pros. Chances are good that you're going to use your credit card more than currency, and you should, as there are a myriad of advantages. First, you can carry less cash. Secondly, you get the security behind your transaction, and if somehow you are ripped off, like merchandise that never ships or a hotel overcharge, you can call your bank and dispute it. Some credit cards increase warranties or offer loss replacement on purchased goods. Finally, you get whatever points or rewards your particular credit card offers, usually some benefits to the tune of an additional 1-2%. to Cons But the problem is that many, if not most credit cards, have hidden surcharges for foreign exchange transactions, which means that using one bank's card over another or even different affinity cards from the same bank can actually make your transaction cost more or less than slapping down another piece of plastic. Pro tip. Two of the best travel credit cards on the market, the Chase Mileage Explorer Club, specifically for United Frequent Flyers, and the more general Sapphire card have no international transaction fees. This is an increasingly important thing to look for in at least one card in your arsenal the one you should use overseas. Traveler's Checks and Money Cards are best for emergencies. The pros? Traveler's Checks are best for emergencies because they provide more security than cash because they can be replaced if lost or stolen. While traditional Traveler's Checks have largely gone the way of the dinosaur, Visa and Travelex offer travel cards that are prepaid like Traveler's Checks but work like credit cards for purchases and ATM withdrawals. Cons. The exchange rate for traveler's checks is not as favorable as the inner bank rate you'll get when using a credit or debit card, and very few merchants accept the checks for purchases these days. You'll also have to pay commissions, shipping charges, and or conversion fees to purchase and cash the checks. The prepaid cards have plenty of fees too. Look out for activation fees, charges for reloading the card, ATM charges, or inactivity fees. In most cases, you're probably better off using your own debit card. Thank you for watching and please like, subscribe, comment, and share.